There's a lot of copper slip on there, mate. I know, you've got a lot of squealing. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here with the Royal Snail Van. It is my 2009 Fiat Doblo Cargo. And if you haven't seen the previous video, we're trying to find a mysterious noise when braking. We think it's from the back. We think it's from the offside rear. We've taken all the brakes apart. We've given them a good clean and it's still there. We don't think it's a wheel bearing and we haven't managed to do that much uh, diagnostics on the suspension yet. One thing I have also noticed is this has started and we've got a brake squeal from the front. Could it be something on the front causing it to sound like a noise at the back? It's unlikely, but we still need to do some work on the front brakes anyway and find the source of that squeal. I replaced all the discs and pads when I bought the van four years ago now so they need a good looking at. In this video, I've brought the van to Dad's. We're gonna have a look at the front braking system, see if we can see anything obvious. Maybe, just maybe, it needs some new discs and pads again. We'll soon find out. Hello, good morning. Hello, Gromit. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Uh, we're back with the Royal Snail Van because we've still not found what that noise is. I know you're saying, oh, I can't hear that noise. Oh, now okay. we've cleaned the back. Uh, it is still there, as we discussed in our previous video. So you say. We've developed a squeak at the front as well, oh, or a I squeal. Did, I did hear that. You've heard the squeal a couple of times when I've been pull, pulling up, and even Mrs. John Coopland has noticed it. So oh. it, it must be- Oh, it must be terrible. Must be a terrible thing. Could it be that it's unconnected, this squeak? <laughs> what are you expecting to find today? I don't know, well, a lip on the discs. Yeah, okay, on the brake, brake discs and pads, yes. yeah. Uh, we replaced the brake discs and pads when we bought the van. Are you yeah. expecting us to have to replace them again? Oh, I hope not, because we ain't got any. No, I'll have to nip down to AP Titans tomorrow and grab some. Uh, okay, so the plan is we're going get to the, get the wheels off, jack her up, have a look at the brakes on the front in this video. Yes. Good stuff, let's get them wheel nuts cracked. I'll get the right socket. It's a gorgeous Sunday here in Lincolnshire, What's by the, the way, and look who is with us Ooh. today. It's the van inspector. Hello. <laughs> She's been having a little bit of a snooze on the back garden. Off come the wheel trims and the wheel nuts. Now we've got it, uh, them wheel nuts cracked off, it's time to jack it up. And we're gonna be dual wielding the jacks. Have a look where you're jacking yours up from. I'm looking, I'm just going to give it a lift first, see what it feels like. Yep. Last thing I want to do is go through the sill. No, I'm not putting it on the sill. Yep, that'll do. That'll do there. I see. Oh, d oh. Oh, right. Oh. That's a problem, isn't it? Before we get the wheel off, we're going to check that bottom ball joint. Yeah. You'd like me to rock it? Yeah. Ten and two? Yeah, for a start, mate. No. No, you move further up. One down and one up. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's go top and bottom. I'm nearly certain there's a play in this ball joint. But I can't see the tinker. Right. Well, I can't feel any. No, I can't, but I'm sure there was some. Right. You have a feel. I am some. I'm sure there was some in that bottom ball joint. Yeah. Not right. One thing I have noticed. Oh, so. Well, there's significant wear on the inside edge. You don't mean it. That's a problem we need to address. Out comes Big Bertha. Are you ready? Yeah, stick it under there and just lift her up, mate. Ready? Yeah, go on, please. I can't grasp that. Because it definitely got some play in it last time I looked at it. All right, son, it's not there now. Oh, that's the wheel. <laughs> Off comes that. Now I'm just looking at these. Out of all the wheel trims, this is the one that is filthy and is covered in brake dust. Oh, which right. Tells me 
that we could have a problem. What you're saying is that you think this one's the problem. With this one. We've also spotted a problem that is massively towing out on both sides on the front, which gives us a good opportunity <laughs> to use the wheel alignment tool. Blimey well does, man. But not today. Thank you. See, in comparison, the brake dust is minimal. What can you see? Great big rusty mark on the inside edge of this disc. Ah, that'll cause us a problem. See that tyre there? I know. No, it's not that. You're going to have to get some because this is starting to show canvas. Yep. See that there, I'll show you. Yeah, show me. That's the canvas starting to show. Yep. Yeah, it is. It is, mate. That is not legal. Do you understand? I do. New tyres are going to be ordered today. So aside from finding the problem with the tyres, which we do need to address as a matter of urgency, uh, we are going to wrap <coughs> this up, put the axle stands in, and have a look at these brakes. What can you see? Love it, love it I'm pleased to say. Good news. <laughs> Let's clean them up and... So you've had your crowbar in all the ball joints there. No, the bushes, mate. And the bushes. Can't find a problem? No. So what's the plan of attack? We're going to clean them up and put some penetrating oil on there for when we need to. Yep, that's the... Uh, track control. Track one. control arm. Yep. And then I think we're going to have to take the discs off and clean them up, take the lip off. Yep. But the other side's particularly bad. Take the, take the pads out. Must be the other side that's squealing, I think, son. And I'll get some new tyres ordered. So the offside is worse than the near side. It is, yeah. Uh, just rust on the... Build on up of rust, mate, yeah. Yeah. Uh, take him off, clean it with a wire... wool? <laughs> or angle grinder Toothbrush. Pad. Toothbrush, yeah. Now it comes angle grinder. I got rumbled going into mum's kitchen uh, trying to wash these wheel trims in the sink. So I've had to fill a bowl full of water and come out, but uh, I've been kicked out of the kitchen. <laughs> Good job she didn't spot the uh, Nissan Micro ones we did in there. Give these a wash off. Off comes the pad carrier. And the disc, let's take a look at that. Oh, that's, well, that's grim, that is, actually, isn't it? That's your noise, isn't it? Good old clean, that is your noise, you're absolutely right. That's your noise, son. Everything else looking okay? Pads looking okay? Yeah, just pump that pedal out for me a bit, would you please, while I uh, sure thing. have a look at that piston. That, push the jack handle right down, that's it, mate. Pistons! Ready? Piston. Off. And again. Off. She's going back. Oh, oh. Okay. Yep, that's not a problem. It's going back again. Good. So, there we go. There's the problem. Messy times. Do we think that that is what's causing the noise at the back? No. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. I do not, so. Clean up on front... Clean Disc up on place. aisle three. Clean up on aisle snail, please. Oh, here we go. Mauling them out. Undergrowth inspector. What are you doing in there? Ah, the wheel trim inspector is here. <laughs> so Dad's cleaning off the pad carrier. With a wire brush and an angle grinder. Dad's taken the caliper off on the near side. And now cleaning off the flange. It's important to clean that flange. Clean your flange. Wheel trims are now drying in the sunshine, and the inspector, well, she's got a mucky head because she got her head round all the brake dust. 
Thanks, Inspector. So now it's time to clean off this disc. You reckon this is what the squeal is? I think so. Sir. Why would that uh, disc get in such poor condition like that? Because the do build up a rust on the inside edge we're not being used very much. Hmm. I mean, the van does get used quite a lot. So in an ideal world, you were just telling me, yeah. that'd be a new disc and pad job. Yeah, it would be well would. Why are we not fitting new discs and pads? Because you ain't got any, are you? <laughs> no, I haven't got any, you're right. It's fairly obvious. Are they, these are salvageable though. I'll soon find out, son. They're still a bit grim. Let's face it. If they're no good. Sorry? If they're no good, we can put some new ones on. We haven't lost anything. Grim is an understatement. That kicked off some stuff. Jolly well did, son. So you're having a trouble there. You've changed, well, three angle grinders. Yeah. What, what have you gone for this time? Oh, flap disc. That's done in a job. It's better, isn't it, mate? Now to clean the other side. On goes that great disc. Are you happy with how that's cleaned up? Yes, mate, I am. One, two. So we've found that the tracking is way out on the van. We're going to want to adjust it at some point. So we're just lubricating up that uh, track arms. Because, and you've not seen these yet on the channel, I bought Dad. So I'm going to class them as vintage tracking adjustment system things. What are they called? Track gauges. Track gauges. You've used them already on the Armstrong Sidley. Um, we can use them on the uh, on the van. You've cleaned off these clips in your uh, in your pen pot and your standard thinners, and that's ready to rumble as well. Back on goes the pad carrier. What have you done to the pad carrier? You've lubricated the I took pins. the pins out and cleaned them. Yeah, and you've cleaned the clips off. Yep. And you've put some brake spray on there. Cheers, mate. Talk them back up. Meanwhile, I need to order some 185s, <coughs> 65R15s, 88T as well. A pair of those, £70. Taking the glaze off them. Is there plenty of meat left on those? Yeah. Oh, crikey, yeah. Loads. But bizarrely enough, for somebody who's as uh, brisk a driver as you, you don't wear your brakes out very much. No, because I drive sensibly. That's why your brakes are all rusted up. <laughs> You've been driven by a little old lady. <laughs> so need to Joking use... apart, light braking is as bad as... Hard braking. I'm not being. I'm not criticising. In in the way of driving style. Yeah. Uh, why is so, that? Because your brakes don't get cleaned up. Right. That sort of person who doesn't brake hard. It wear, wear his brakes out. They just go rusty. Well, clearly that's what's happened. Yeah. Because you don't. You're not ram ass on your brakes. Definitely not. No, I'm not. I'm prob I probably were um, harder on the brakes than you. Well, I was taught to drive differently to you. You see. Yeah. I was taught when you're pulling up at a junction at some traffic lights, keep well to the left to stop push bikes coming up. <laughs> so now they've given their own little track up the left hand side. Well, I was taught to stay away from the left hand no. side because that's the gutter and that's where all the nails and sharps and glass and Mark, the children. The bloke who be. taught me to drive in 1970 blinking four says, Look, when you're here, Pull well to the left, stops push bikes coming up the inside <laughs> of you. There you go. But now, after that, you see, now they've got their own little road with a picture of a bike on it. Don't get your copper slip on your brake face. There is copper slip <coughs> on there. Nice. There's a lot of copper slip on there, mate. I know, you've got a lot of squealing. On goes the caliper. The piston's been pushed back. And that's the offside put back together. Wheel to go on. Job done. How's that spinning now? Well, you can't tell because I pump the pedal out because I can't do because I've got the brake off to the side, isn't I? Oh, yeah, of course. But it seems to be better than it was. That's the other uh, disc cleaned off. How's that come up? Better way, it wasn't so bad as the other one, mate. Better than the other one.
on goes the wheel. Back on goes the pad carrier. The disc is already on there. That gets talked back up. How are the pads looking this side? Fine, son, fine, mate. Good news. I'll say they're not, there's, there's hardly any wear on them whatsoever. You being a advanced driver. Well, that looks better now it's all clean. Back goes the pads. Right, all the brakes are back together. Let's pump the pedal out. Make sure that everything's okay. Are you ready? Yeah, just put the foot on the brake, pump it out. Uh, foot brake on. On. Off. It's off. On. It's on. Off. It's off. Perfect. How's that looking? On. It's on. Off. It's off. There you go. Lovely stuff. Let's get the wheel back on then, on the near side, and then we can torx it up. Jobs are good. -er. More content coming. Wheel alignment on a Fiat Doblo van. Well, the last thing to do, axle stands are out. And bring her down, ready? Yes, mate. Down she comes. Has that solved the rumbling? Probably not, but it will have solved the squealing and it allowed us to have a look at those tyres, which now we know need replacing immediately. So what do you reckon? What do I reckon? We won't stop your noise, are we? No, we haven't stopped that noise at the back, but we will have stopped the squeal at the front and, well, that work needed doing, didn't it? Um, the tyres, they need replacing before we can use the van, right? Yes, mate. So I'm going to leave the van here. Uh, I've ordered some tyres. And uh, we'll take the wheels to the uh, the tyre place, get them sorted, and then we can track the uh, front of the van up. Now we've got them gauges, it's going to be useful, I think. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. What's that? We're going to take the wheels off again. Why? When we track it up. Because your wheel trims are in the way of the rim. Oh. <laughs> one. Well, that's Two. not the end of the world. Three. Good. Cue the outro. Four. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.